So I guess what really excites me about stem cell research is sort of the possibilities you have and also the advances that we've made in actually understanding what is going on. And I think the clarity and seeing sort of uh, this thing become something that's actually understood rather than sort of being the big mystery is actually quite exciting. Sequencing actually in itself has revolutionized a lot the things we can do. About four or five years ago, these so-called next generation sequencing technologies came online. The real advantage is that rather than looking at a single gene or a dozen um, or a couple of hundred loci that you could do with a classic Sanger chemistry, now you can sequence billions of reads. So it basically it means that everything we do now we can read out on a genome-wide scale and ask of, of all the genes and of all the enhances, all the regions in the genome, which ones are actually changing and how fast are they changing. And because things get faster and cheaper, now you can ask sort of more dynamic things, so not, in, not just steady state, so starting an end cell, but you can take time courses, and there's a lot of things that are now enabled by actually these things not costing a million dollars, like the first attempts of doing sort of genome-wide experiments, but now it's a thousand dollars for a genome-wide data set, for example. Now the big challenge is once you actually agree on the cells are what they're supposed to be, um, you still need to actually use them. I mean, there, there's very decent protocols that get you very close to, um, for many cell types, uh, that get you very close to what you want. Like our own lab, for example, works on, on endoderm differentiation and, and liver generation. And so again, you get something that looks fairly close to a hepatocyte, but you don't have yet the fully functional one. And so I think there's still some work that needs to be done to refine it, but it clearly there's, there's indication that it clearly will work. And it's just a question of time and figuring out the right cues you have to give the cell at the right time. I would say the next big milestone is, is to actually take in one way or another advantage of these cells. And so whether it is actually in, in, in culture, a screen where you found a compound that can now be used um, to treat a patient, or to use the cells in the transplant directly. I think either one of those needs to happen in order to actually ensure that people stay excited about stem cell research and to, again, just to live on the actual promise.